He was a belie he believed that this that the Messiah was coming, and he went through what it took to become a believer, and you did not. So that's why there is a gulf fixed between heaven and hell, <clears throat> and you cannot be satisfied by a drop of water. Okay, now I want to explain there's four things that's going to happen right away. One is the rapture. While people are burning in hell, life on earth goes on. God with the rapture is called, he calls up all the Christians, all the born again people to heaven. They're gone. And then seven years of tribulation comes to the earth. Seven years. Three and a half good with the Antichrist making things good. Three and a half like a hell on earth. Awful. Many, many people die. There's some men that beg for the mountains to fall on them, to kill them, but God takes death away from them but still other millions die and go to hell. After the, the uh, Great Tribulation is the millennium. God comes from heaven down with me, all the saints in glory, and rules the earth for a thousand years, called the millennium. After the thousand years are up, then God says it's time for the end of the world, which would be the end or the final judgment. And it's in Revelation 20. I've got to get the right page. And for you that thought that hell was the end of it, it's just the beginning. It's worse. It gets worse. I saw, this is Revelation 20, starting with verse 11. I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. This judgment is going to be someplace different than on earth or in heaven because it is so horrible that they fled away from the great white throne judgment. I saw the dead, that's the unsaved, the unbelievers, small and great stand before God and the books were opened and another book was opened which was the book of life and the dead that's the unsaved were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire these books that were opened, I, it's not in the Bible, but I call them the books of sin because the books were opened and the sinners were judged out of those books. All right. Every man or woman that had ever been born, that has ever been born from the day of creation from the day that Adam was, well, God created Adam, and then Eve. From then on, anyone that died like 
the rich man, an unbeliever, will be standing naked before God. That is Jesus Christ. On that great, pure, a pure white throne. White means purity. Okay, small and great. That means kings, presidents, royalty, rich people. They will live. They will be at this judgment. Small and great. They'll be poor people, kind of like me. Poor people will be there. People that are just common. Every walks of life are there before the great white throne judgment. And the books were opened and they were read and they were judged according to their works. And then the sea and death and hell delivers up all those that are in there for this judgment. And let's, let's go ahead and read it again. The books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life. Okay, Whenever a person is born again or believes or is saved, becomes a Christian, their name is written in the book of life. All right. My name, my wife's name, my children's name, and their children's names are written in that book. Because God was merciful to me, a sinner, and I was saved. An event back in 71 that changed my life. My wife and I were saved together. And our names are in that book. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in them, and death and hell delivered up the dead that were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. I am a Christian. I am born again. I'm a believer. I'm going to die the physical death. The physical death. I will not die the spiritual death. I've been saved. And I will not die the spiritual death. But, if you die in your sin, you will not only die the physical death, but you will die the spiritual death. That is the second death. All right. That's those two judgments. Now, we're going to read other verses here about sin. There's not a lot of them, but they're important ones. And I want you to understand these two. You answered my ad on YouTube to learn about God's hell. What God says about hell. That's what I'm giving you. Mark 9:43 And if thy hand offend thee cut it off it is better for thee to enter into life maimed than having two hands and two uh, two hands and go to hell into the fire that never shall be quenched there where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched it's a little repetition, but we're going to go on. And if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. <coughs> it is better for thee to enter 
hold into life than having 